Okay, so change of plans again. This was an Gorgeous, adventure! But... Look at that! I am shaking. I'm much bigger than him. Hey, don't I'm much bigger What's up, fellow journeyers? So we did something last night that, uh, I don't think we've ever done this. We actually stayed the night in a national park parking lot because it's totally legit here in Lassen Volcanic National Park. Like you can pay 10 bucks and you can just stay in the visitor center parking lot overnight, which I think is genius. <laughs> because I like the parking lot's just sitting here all night. The visitor center closes at five. How'd you sleep, girl? I slept good. Well, good morning, buddy. You ready to go explore? Yeah, this is definitely a great stop, and it was so quiet last night. It's just nice when you have a quiet place to park. It was only like two other vehicles here, so it was just so quiet and dark. It was a really good night's sleep. What's on your pants? It's a hole. Oh, that means you've been adventurous. People like me pay for holes in their pants. Yeah, the holes on the pants. Like, get holes on my pants. <laughs> ripped jeans. Ripped jeans. It means you're adventurous, buddy. Check that out. All these vehicles we see from overseas that are traveling the world. <laughs> it's so cool. Man, that's awesome. The places that thing has probably been. What's the plan today, Chief? <laughs> so much of this park is still shut down. Even the main road. Look, look at the snow marker behind you. Look how much snow <laughs> they're getting here. <laughs> they get up to 30 feet from like November to June. So a lot of this park isn't opened up because this is still the end of May. And we had a, a someone off Team Journey, Kat just posted a picture a couple weeks ago and it was completely snow covered. Honestly, a lot of this park is still shut down because we're here bef like right before shoulder season. So I bet this park is awesome in the winter and awesome in the summer and we're kind of here but we're gonna see what we can see while we're here. All right, little adventurers, you ready? Ride those bikes. You got it on the right way. Yeah, I'm bad about putting it 50 on 50% of the time she has it backwards. I don't even know how. <laughs> Look at all the snow melting, Hensley. <laughs> it's really melting, isn't it? You can just hear it all around you. I thought there was a river. I'm sure there's a river somewhere, but you can really hear the snow melting. <laughs> it's cool being on this road with no traffic. Like, it's closed, so it's all pedestrian right now. So it's, it's kind of fun, yeah. It's closed? Yeah, yeah for, for cars, yeah. Yeah, only bikes and pedestrians, so we got it all to ourselves. How you doing, girl? You good? I'm doing good. You good, yeah. Bearings are there. Do you see it? Yeah, that's yeah. a big one, too. There's lots in the wild. in the road. Oh my goodness, that's a big bear. We're just gonna wait right here. Until that we... is a big bear, man. You see it just do a light is jog, a how fast it could be? He's crossing the road. Yeah, we crossed the road, didn't he, buddy? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Crossed the road, didn't what if we've been riding and nothing had ran right in front Right in front of us. <laughs> if we would have kept going, it probably really would have crossed right yeah. in front of us. You yeah, were guessing this is one of those right park, wrong time kind of things. <laughs> like, this looks like a really cool drive that just keeps going and going, but we're just not gonna be able to do it today. Lots of construction going on. Oh, Hensley, oh no. <laughs> it's the stinky geysers, no. Yeah. Steam vents, mud pots, bowling springs, a rotten egg smell, ooh. What's yes. making all that steam? What's doing that? Maybe a bear is out here cooking dinner. What do you oh, think? Is that yeah. what it is, bear's cooking dinner? No. He's got the, the grill out. Dude, there used to be a bathhouse out here in the 50s. Ooh. That's Ew. It's gross. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did they go, did they go in the skin? Oh, wow. Oh. What is going on there? Yeah. You think that's hot? 
Yes. Some people believe that has healing power. Seems like you want to get in there and it'll make you feel better. No. No? That's going to stink. <laughs> we'll talk about last and volcanic. Look what's going on. Yeah. It's still active way underneath. It actually is active. Volcanic heat and gases. Right. And really like even a Yellowstone, right? There's like actually like volcanic activity all underneath it causing geysers all over the place. You know, think about it. You see geysers, there's technically like lava or heat or kind of volcanic like activity under the ground which if you think about Yellowstone there's geysers all over the place so there's a ton of volcanic activity and lava and stuff underneath the ground causing all those geysers in Yellowstone oh wow yeah I love all these different views we little, got yeah these little pumpkins. oh look they show you the volcano broke off volcano This Lassen Volcanic National Park is not dead, it's only slumbering. What does that mean if it's only slumbering, Hensley? I don't know, it's sleeping? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's waiting to wake up. <laughs> Hope we're not right here when it does. <laughs> What's it doing, Marissa? It's bowling. Bowling? Yeah. See it bowl? See it bowl? What is it? You see it boiling? You say boiling? <laughs> it's Boil, bowl. Not bowl. It's bowl. Are you so hot that day? You so hot? I'm free inside and I don't want to see life I don't know my way back home the life of How's it look? <laughs> It'll work. <laughs> so we've had a lot of questions about like how are you gonna do laundry without a washer dryer in your rig? So our solution is similar to what we did in the Airstream where we actually, we do private parks as well, but we, we have never just like drove to a laundromat, me and Marissa, or especially with the kids, my goodness, no. <laughs> and just sat at a laundromat for hours. Don't like doing that. So we usually either do the laundry in a private park that has a laundry within the campground or, which is what we're doing, we drive to a laundromat and then we sit outside the laundromat with the RV do the laundry, go back and forth and do the thing for a couple hours, but we got our home with us, so it's not as bad. It's been very hit or miss. <laughs> so this one's, is this middle of the road or what, what's this one? <laughs> I've definitely had better, but I've definitely had worse, but we brought enough for 10 days, essentially. Um, so I mean, I'm good for at least a couple of weeks, except for my underwear, which <laughs> still didn't set out. Still yeah, so like once a week or a little over a week, I need to be doing a load of laundry because we did pack small with the smaller RV. That's another thing I love about the Class C. We, <laughs> we got to pull into a Chick fil A, we went to Cold Stone, we're doing our laundry. Nathan went into Best Buy, so we're like doing all of our errands today as we run around town. Best Buy is taking all my money, basically. Um, so so I've already been to Best Buy once. Again, I ended up getting a GoPro 10 because I still had, I think, an 8, um, which is okay, but pretty good upgrades on the 10. So I got a 10. And then, um, yeah, pro tip, if you're flying your drone around Lake Tahoe, don't fly it into a tree. We did eventually find it. It had rough rough shape broke every propeller on it that tree was tall <laughs> it probably fell 100 feet it was 100 plus feet uh, the tree that it hit so luckily it wasn't stuck in the top but it doesn't matter it was trashed so at least i got the battery and the footage back it was a fly more combo which was like not cheap air 2s um and all they had in stock here in reading was another fly more combo so now i'm flying more more <laughs> is what i'm doing because i've got like i have my air 2 batteries well i've got like five batteries now do you so, want me to wash anything you're wearing Yes. <laughs> so it's like a fly more. She's not gonna learn. Just messing with it. Okay, Best Buy's taking all our money. Uh, Insley heard me say this. She says, why is Best Buy taking your money? Not they're not literally taking my money, but I'm giving them lots of, lots of money. Between them. Anybody need a bag? I got two of these now. And now I don't come out. Come and find me. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm wheeling out of here. <laughs> I'm coming in there. All right, we're clean. California to the coast, 
in the area we're in. You have to go way out of the way. You have to do some seriously curvy roads. We've already been driving like a couple hours. Like, I mean, this is what you're doing. You're just, just, if you look on a map and it looks like a game of uh, what is it, snake on the old cell phones. It's gonna be curvy. <laughs> and the thing about the class C pros or cons, you know, you have seat belts and all that and you can sit in the back, but still it's like, shakes way more than like a truck so when you get onto these kinds of roads if you're prone to getting motion sickness and that kind of thing like we keep dramamine on board shaky back there smell it in the air even though it's really foggy cloudy over there we can smell it we're here it's been a it's been quite the adventure to get here look at this yay we made it okay so change of plans again usually after a long day of driving we would go straight to the campground get set up relax in this case, it's just raining and we can't see anything, so. What else do you do on rainy days besides go to visitor centers? <laughs> you are still in your pajamas, girl. We're all still in our pajamas. She loves, <laughs> show you what she was doing. Every time we show up somewhere, she gives feedback and hits the smiley face. I might hit the frowny face sometimes, you know? How would you feel if I hit the frowny face on the feedback on Google? Feel so bad. Huh? <laughs> I accidentally did it yesterday. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It took me three hours and 59 minutes to go what Google said would take two hours and 45 minutes, but it was a curvy day. Oh my goodness. So this is our second milestone of this road a trip. Second, the first. Second, 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 second. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. The first was just making it to the state of California. It's something about seeing the coast was like, man, we, we made it. We're like all the way across the country at this point. And that is a really cool feeling. Uh, so the plan, you know, hop down or are you still helping me? So the plan for the road trip, first month is to do the east side of California, which is inland, and then go from south, starting at Death Valley, north up to um, Lassen Volcanic National Park, and then heading west over to Redwoods National Park and then we're gonna hit the coast, which is what we're starting right now. So the, so the second month, we're gonna hit the coast and go from north to south. We don't actually even know how far we're going south. And that's part of this whole thing is like staying flexible and grabbing cancellations and modifying you know, what we currently have. And like, cause we were gonna stay in Lassen Volcanic for two or three nights and just had to make changes. But it actually worked out for the better cause we grabbed a pretty cool campground. We're gonna show you guys today. Hold on. This road's legit. <laughs> We're detaching the Jeep. It's supposed to be 24 feet or less. We are 24 feet or less. We're 2310. And technically, I think having the Jeep is not the issue because we're hinging okay. However, if we run into somebody, I want to be able to back up if I need to, and I can't do that with the Jeep. So we're just going to detach. Marissa's going to be driving. So Marissa's going to go in front of me and kind of clear the way. I think there's five miles of this, so <laughs> it's not a short road either. Can you, can you fold that mirror in? Still good?
That was nerve wracking. <laughs> Basically have no mirrors. <laughs> and that cow was parked in the road. We're 26, 22, 23. All right, 26, here's us. Oh, it's a pull through, nice, look at this. Yeah, all right, this will work. I think we can get around it, we can't all back out. <laughs> Oh my Nathan Moss, what did you that get? That had to have been close. I couldn't see it. I had no mirrors. I couldn't even have my mirrors I mean, off. I felt I like I it. couldn't get through with the Jeep, so I don't know how in the world. But this is the biggest campsite in the place. I am shaking. Like, literally shaking. That was the most nerve-wracking. Oh, man. And I was in the Jeep, and I'm literally just like, look how I'm shaking. That was, um... That was quite the adventure. Like, look at my hands. <laughs> I'm I'm not leaving this campground ever. Like, we're moving here. Look, I can't. I can't get it back out. This was an Gorgeous, adventure. But, I mean, we're surrounded. It looks like we're in this valley almost. Whoa. Of course, it's pouring rain. So, uh, yeah, lazy days. Uh, oh my goodness. I don't know how you did that. Like I'm shaking driving the Jeep down that canyon. Like, wow, <laughs> wow. Hey, when they say 24 feet, Nathan Moss is like- Don't go 25 and say you're 24, <laughs> just don't. Nathan's like, like I'm 23, 10. I, I we're legit, but- No, they didn't give me a hard time no, at all. No, I will, we're the biggest one in here by far. Oh yeah. <laughs> I will say uh, a little piece of advice is they did try to give me a hard time about uh, our vehicles uh, not being hooked yeah. up. So it's $7 per night per extra vehicle, but it's not considered an extra vehicle if it's a tow vehicle and like, Okay, yeah, I know it's physically not hooked up right now, but that's so that we don't die. <laughs> like, I needed a lead vehicle or I would have put her on an e-bike or something, I think. Like, literally, I would tell you, like, get somebody on an e-bike in front of you if you don't have a vehicle behind you. I wouldn't bicycle. get on an e-bike on that. <laughs> well, no. that's the price I'm willing to pay. <laughs> Look at this site. We don't have the beach view, but yeah. man, it's a pull through, very roomy. I'm going to do my best to not park in the road like the other guy who just didn't want to move. Yeah. Like, here, here comes the biggest RV in the campground. Could you... uh? It's like, oh, you got it, you got it. Oh, wow. Like, yeah. you know people I know that have like, banged something up because the guy says, you got it, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> now this campground is very difficult to get into. <laughs> Every time I checked, there was no openings, no openings, no openings. And then just before we actually ended up at the Volcanic, there was a cancellation here for three nights. I snagged it up. I did, we couldn't get here for all of them, so I had to let one of them go. But like all this moving around, if we stayed last in Volcanic National Park, we literally would not have even made it to this campground. So you just don't know. You just stay flexible, hope for the best. I'm excited to be in here, but like Marissa, we are not taking the Class C out on any day trips. And I'm probably not gonna sleep well until we leave this campground. Literally don't know if we're gonna be leaving this campground. <laughs> yeah, my plan was to go out and explore today, but I'm like, nope, campground it is. <laughs> Be ready. If you're doing a lot of stuff we're doing in California, you're not gonna have full cups, almost for sure, and rarely have power, water, and dump. It's just, it does not seem to be happening, which I think emphasizes even more like what I'm actually sitting on right now, that we swapped out our two 80 amp batteries with two Battleborn 100 amp batteries, which I didn't know. Uh, we, we, so we stopped through Reno on the way here, Battleborn's headquarters in Reno. We've never actually been through there before. And it was, uh, <laughs> I mean, I didn't picture it as like a two-man operation in a garage or something, but man, I think like uh, they're up to like 160 employees. They've got this massive facility. They're assembling everything here in the United States. Super pumped we had two of these in here to like 280, yeah, almost triple the amount of power we had for the same amount of space in our RV. Very happy with the lithium on this. How's your elk watching? It's great. <laughs> All right, so we're heading down to the entrance to Fern Canyon. I have read there are a couple of creek crossings, and if it's been rainy, it can be quite the adventure. Here we go, ready? Wow. 
Wow. Look at that Jeep, Bensley. <laughs> uh, what? We look pretty adventurous, huh? It looks like a real Jeep now. Yeah, how a Jeep should look. Wow. <laughs> so as you can see, the parking lot is really small here. So you have to have a permit, a reservation, to get to Fern Canyon. But what's really cool is if you're staying in the campground, you're in. You don't have to have a reservation. That's super cool that we got into the campground, we got into Fern Canyon because we got recommendations to do this hike a ton, so I'm excited. I call it a twofer. You get the campground, you get the experience there, and you get to do the hike. Twofer. Hey, watch out for Elk, Hensley. Don't be that guy. Okay, pop quiz, Hensley. Why do you think it's called Fern Canyon? Because it's a canyon that has a lot of ferns. You think you can find a fern? <laughs> <laughs> they are everywhere. What makes this elk super dangerous? Can you tell? Because they can attack you. Yeah, what makes that one super dangerous? What's behind it? Yeah, because it had a farm. donut that morning, right? <gasps> oh, no. They don't eat donuts. What makes that one super dangerous? What do you really not want to mess with that elk? Because it, it's, it's babies behind it and it's protecting its baby. Mm -hmm. Don't mess with the mom and her babies. That's right. That's right. That's Blake. Oh, on the know. side. He's got his tongue out. He is. Not JJ. happy. <laughs> I don't want to go in here. All right, okay. everybody, follow me. Come on. Uh, what about Come on, the app? Me. What about the app? Pick him up, Marissa. Pick him up. I'm much bigger than him. I I'm don't much pick bigger him than him. Let's when you come around that corner you got this big canyon sitting here oh my goodness i mean you've got 50 foot walls of this canyon full of m all these species of ferns like it's with running water and it's just you definitely feel like you're out of something like a jurassic park movie what Did you know that this was a jurassic park lost world like they filmed in this canyon This place is like a wonderland, right? It's another world. Wow. I love it. I love saying that. Another world. <laughs> Everything about this is just majestic. Wow, that's cool. Don't know how we're getting through it, but that's cool. Can we go on that way? Good job, girl. We're gonna find slugs. There are so many slugs and snails and did not want to see the snake, but you know, that was a bonus. So <laughs> I love that I told Hensley, hey Hensley, we are gonna be hiking in mud and water. And she said, I want my jean dress. <laughs> Look at that one, buddy. Look how big he is. How big he is. He's huge, buddy, isn't he? Are you, are you seeing how big he is? Look how big he is. This is, look at that slug. Oh, wow, I can hear the ocean, Hensley. There it is. We can actually see it today. We have to get out there today, wow. Yeah, yesterday was just a muddy, rainy mess. We kind of just stayed inside and watched elk, so. <laughs> Uh, today we want to get to that ocean. It looks incredible. We've waited a long time and I know that snake was right up here somewhere so I'm just gonna walk slow. Wow. I mean look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? I love the coast. So pretty. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. Come on, JJ. Yay, JJ did it. I did it. 
Did you do it? I think this is part of what, when I envision like the win for like this road trip, there's like two things I see here that are huge wins. Just Hensley and JJ playing together. We want them to be friends for life and just create these memories together. And then secondly, like they're just exploring. They're just like, finding things out here. Yeah, what did you find girl? Whoa, what is that? I have no idea either. Um, <laughs> but just never lose a sense of curiosity, especially when it comes to nature, just explore nature. Like it's just a beautiful thing that I think a lot of us have JJ, lost along the way. Oh no! It's okay. Hop up. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Yeah! So if you're going to RV, you can totally expect plans to have to change. We are glad that plans changed in this video, and I'm sure you are too, because you probably wouldn't have gotten to see the Gold Bluffs campground we've shown you. But hey, if plans are going to change, it does not hurt to have some gear that keeps you motivated during those <laughs> changes. We announced last week that we have released, for the first time ever, LJMJ hats, and not just any hat. Voila! but patch hats that can be swapped or changed based on your mood or based on how the day went that day for the RVing. So or your outfit. I, or your out, from Marissa outfit for me, <laughs> whatever. So huge thank you to Team Journey. They got a pre-release of these hats and they have been posting selfies with their hats in our Facebook group and it has been incredible. It's making my heart explode. We personally are packing these hats to, to send out to you guys as a huge Thank you for um, for just all your love and encouragement. So if you want a hat, head to lessjunkmorejourney.com slash hats. This is our <laughs> last week. This is our last week. We're shipping them out <laughs> and that's it. Grab your hats. We cannot wait to ship them out and to share them with the community. Until next time, we will catch you guys later.